Hey there folks, Night Owl Visuals here, bringing you the latest Colorado Buffaloes breaking news and college football stories. In today's video, we're covering an incident that occurred for the Buffaloes in 2022, which is getting some traction now between a female suspect and Colorado Buffalo football player who got stabbed. While all teams have drama, which comes around every now and then, the herd has unfortunately found themselves in some unneeded coverage after their big win against Baylor. While Coach Prime the Buffaloes are no strangers to headlines and news, this is definitely an interesting story for any college football team, so buckle up everyone watching hit subscribe if you like what you hear and see so far and let's get into today's new media news now getting into the story the lawsuit filed thursday by jane rowe in u.s district court of colorado also claims cu's investigation into the 2022 incident involving the woman and the player identified only as john doe was biased and unfair and violated her due process title and civil rights in a statement, CU's Director of Issues Management, Uaksh, said the Campus Office of Institutional Equity and Compliance performs its duties in accordance with federal law and best investigative practices. The office's investigation preceded Rowe's expulsion. Quoting, Although the campus only recently became aware of this lawsuit and responded to it through the appropriate legal process, the campus is full confidence in the OIEC's ability to investigate and make fair determinations in cases involving sexual misconduct and intimate partner violence, Muex said. Back in February 22, the couple were at their off-campus apartment, which was where he wanted her to leave. Doe said he felt threatened, grabbed a pair of scissors, and threatened to cut Roe's purse. Being close to the kitchenware encounter while being pushed by Roe, as both parties were angry and upset, Doe fell back and cut himself on a knife from around the counter area. As an outcome of the police investigation, Roe was arrested a few days after the altercation incident and charged with first degree assault, felony, menacing, and obstruction of telephone service with a domestic violence enhancer. Through the lawsuit, Roe is seeking an expungement of her expulsion, disciplinary records, and a reversal of the Office of Institutional Equity and Compliance findings. Also, it is important to note that we should really try to keep ourselves as unbiased as possible. And even though this is more related to the Doe, he initially has been known to lie to his football coaches about why he needed some mandatory team meeting around the time of the incident and stabbing, the lawsuit says. He claimed that he had food poisoning or an allergic reaction, but however, coaches looked up his medical records and saw he had a knife wound below his rib cage that required surgery. Doe was released from the hospital the following day. And it is important to note that Doe also refused to talk with Boulder police when they came to the hospital, but the lawsuit alleges CU football coaches and staff scared Doe into making a report by saying Roe could later make a claim against Doe. So I think they must have had a lot of tension between the two of them already, obviously, if there's a knife and stabbing involved. And it's really too bad about not being able to trust law enforcement, but I understand other people's predicaments and situations. And it seems like race or other parts of their background and their history together as a couple may have influenced their decisions on making the right decision to really get this cleared and their names out of the way as much as possible within rules and lines of the law. On that note, Night Out Visual supporting in folks, thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to subscribe, leave a like and comment. I'll be back soon. Have a good one. Peace.